Hi, I'm Alma, an Associate Product Manager at PDFTron. Today, we'll be going through a tutorial on how to embed PDFTron's web viewer into a Nux.js application to enable PDF viewing and editing capabilities. So we'll begin by opening up our Visual Studio code and then go into the terminal to run the command yarn create Nuxt app and then name our project, in this case, just my project. We can run this command and then we'll be given a list of options that we can choose to customize um, our Nuxt.js application, but I'll just keep the default settings by clicking enter as I go. And then once all the packages are installed, we'll have our Nuxt.js application ready to run. So once that's done, we can go into our project. And then from here, we can run yarn run dev. And that will allow us to see our application on localhost 3000. So I will just copy this link and open it in our browser. And as you can see, this is our Nuxt.js application running with our default landing page. So now we're ready to start installing our web viewer um, into our application. So to do this, we can exit the running mode. And then from there, I will write npm install at pdftron slash web viewer. And this will install all the packages necessary in order for us to run our web viewer into the next JS application. If done installing our web viewer, we can then go into our node modules folder and then go into our PDF Tron folder and then copy the resources core and UI, which is the only two that we will need to copy into our static folder. So in here, I'll create a new folder named web viewer in which I will paste the files. Okay, perfect. So once I have these two components done, I can then go into my components folder and then delete the tutorial.view file since this is what is currently showing on our default landing page. Once I've deleted that, we are ready to create our web viewer component. So I'll create a new file inside components called web viewer .view. And inside here, I'll begin by creating my web viewer component. So inside our template tag, we've added a div with the ID web viewer and then reference it as viewer. And next we will go into our script tag. So inside the script tag, we will want to export out our component and we'll name it web viewer and then also pass two props, um, which are path and URL and we'll keep them both as string. And then we'll use the lifecycle hook mounted and then inside we'll also import our PDF Tron web viewer resources. And then inside the web viewer, we'll add our path um, to the web viewer folder that we created inside our static folder, which contains the core and UI um, resources for our web viewer application. And then for our initial document, we'll keep it as this.url so we can replace the URL with any um, document that we would like to open. So from here, we can then go into our pages and inside this index.view, currently the tutorial component that we previously deleted um, is being shown since this was originally um, our default landing page. So we will take this out and then edit this to make sure that our web viewer is being displayed on the landing page. Inside the template tag, we've added a div with an ID um, as app. And then inside our web viewer component, we made sure to put our path as the web viewer, which has our resources, and then the URL um, for our initial document that we would like to open when we load our page. So inside our script tag, we can see that we imported our web viewer from the components folder, and then we export out 
app, which we created in our template. And then we want to show our web viewer um, component, which is why we put it inside here. So next we'll cover the style template tag for our application. So currently we have our style tag populated. Um, as you can see, we are now ready to actually run the application and we will see what we get um, when we load. So we can run yarn run dev. And inside here, when we reload this page, it should change. So as you can see, currently it takes up half the page. And I just wanted to show you how to edit this in case you wanted to customize um, the look of the web viewer. So we can go into our code and just change the height to 100, save it. And as you can see, the page reloaded with um, the web viewer being full fitted into our um, browser page. So this is kind of a simple guide into how you can integrate your web viewer into a Next.js application. And you can always visit um, pdftron.com in order to gather more documentation um, and more guides into how you can integrate our web viewer into different frameworks. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment below and we will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.